are. Happy Thursday. How are we doing today? You doing good? We had a great time last night. Wonderful fellowship. We had teriyaki chicken and rice, potato salad, and veggies, sauce of the apple, and desserts. We had desserts all over the place. Somebody brought a cake. Somebody brought this cheesecake mixture with cherries on it. Oh, and somebody else brought strawberry shortcake with a just most wonderful tasting strawberries you can imagine. <clears throat> I mean, those strawberries were just perfect. Glory to God. Then we had ice cream to go with it and squirt stuff. Huh? We know how to live around this place, I'll tell you. That, that's our fellowship on Wednesday night. If you're in the Melbourne, Florida area, come and be with us. We eat at 6 o'clock. Next week, we're having Jim's famous spaghetti. This is really good stuff, let me tell you. Hey, I want to talk to you today about how to break, how to quickly break generational curses of sickness and disease. And this will heal your body. Anybody interested in this? Most sickness, chronic illness, long-term illness, bad illness, is the result of generational curses. The big one is heart disease. Now, the doctors will tell you heart disease is hereditary. Here's the fact. It's a generational curse. Any disease that the doctor labels as hereditary is a generational curse. <clears throat> hereditary means that it's passed down in families. Poverty is hereditary. They'll tell you poverty is hereditary. It's a generational curse. The blessing is also hereditary. <clears throat> Wealth is hereditary. How do you get wealth? Most people inherit wealth. Well, most people inherit sickness and disease too. The two big ones are cancer and heart disease. Now, women especially face terrible breast cancer and sometimes cancer of the, of the uterus and cervix. A lot of that is the doctors will tell you is hereditary. I mean, the first time <clears throat> when you go into the doctor and you fill out the form, they want to know your family history. The reason they want to know your family history is because they want to know if you, if there's any if there's any any sickness in your family, any cancer in your family, any heart disease blood pressure, diabetes, any of that stuff in your family. They want to know it. The reason they want to know it is because they know if there's a history of heart disease in your family, chances are you're going to have it too. Amen. Especially men. Women are pretty much immune to heart disease as long as as, until they go through menopause. They're pretty much immune. Then once they go through menopause, they're just like everybody else. But while they're in their childbearing years, they're pretty much immune to heart disease. Praise God for that. I'm immune to heart disease anyway. Amen. <clears throat> no, I did not get a shot for it. But I got Jesus. Amen. I'm immune to cancer too. I'm not putting up with that crap. All sickness and disease is found in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Now look at this. You go here to Deuteronomy chapter 28. This is the curse of the law. This is all of your heart disease, the heart disease, madness, 
blindness. Huh? <clears throat> Curse shall be the fruit of your body, a consumption, a fever, an inflammation, extreme burning, sword, mildew. Huh? The blotch. Anybody interested in the blotch? Emrods. Hello, I don't even want to know what that is. Scabs, itch, they cannot be healed. Madness, blindness. Huh? I'm telling you all, you need to read Deuteronomy chapter 28 because that's the curse of the law and that's what you've been redeemed from. Every sickness and every disease known to man is in that book, is in that chapter. Because it clearly said in verse, what, 62, and every sickness and disease that is not written in this book is covered by the curse of the law. I'm telling you people, every sickness and every disease known to man is part of the curse of the law. It came into this earth when Adam sinned and God gave the devil access to the earth. When God gave the devil access to the earth, what he did was he lifted the blessing from Adam and his wife. And when he did, the devil came running in. And when he comes running into your life, he brings sickness, disease, spiritual death, and a hard life. Everything bad. Jesus de de defined him in John chapter 10, verse 10. He said, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Don't get those two things mixed up. Anything that has to do with stealing, killing, and destroying is from the devil. Don't ever blame God for that. Well, God took all my money because he had to, he had to humble me. I've had, I've had people say that to my face. I said, no, God didn't take your money. The devil took your money. And furthermore, he's going to try to kill you on top of it. How do I know that? Because that's what the devil does. He always wants to kill you. He always wants to steal from you. And he always wants to make you sick. Does sickness destroy families? I'm telling you what, people. We just had a wonderful lady die of leukemia. I have known this woman and her husband since I was a little kid. Played ball with them, went bowling with them, went to the drive-in movies with them. They were part of my life growing up. And she worked at the bank in our local town for 38 years. My brother did business with her because he was a businessman there in our hometown of Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. And he just adored her. And so did everybody else. Wonderful, wonderful person. Just died of leukemia. How? awful. It's part of the curse. I didn't even know she was sick. Had I known she was sick, I could have got her healed. Now I'm telling you that there is nobody I can't get healed. Nobody. I have the name of Jesus. And there is so much power in that name. There is nobody that I can't get healed. I am not bragging when I say that. If Jesus was standing here, and he said into this camera, there's nobody I can't get healed. You wouldn't think anything of it, would you? You'd go, well, that's Jesus. Well, I can do what Jesus did. If Jesus got him healed, I can get him healed. Because I have his name. Now, he's not here. Jesus is not here. He's not going to come down here and touch you to heal you. I don't care what kind of visions you have had. I don't care what God has ever spoken to you or you think God has ever spoken to you. Jesus is not going to come down here and heal you. The Bible clearly tells us in Romans chapter 10, don't even try to call him down or call him up from the grave. No, no, he's gone. But he left us his name. And his name on this earth is every bit as powerful as he was when he was here.
No difference. There is no difference in the power of a person who has faith in the name of Jesus than there was in Jesus himself. His name is every bit as powerful as he is. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power in that name, it will break every generational curse of sickness that has ever been in your life. And I use that name to do that. I use the name of Jesus to heal people. I'm telling you what, we have literally had thousands of people healed, many of them with brain tumors and cancer. A whole bunch of them healed right off their deathbed. One woman was brain dead. Brain dead. When her fiance and her family, three carloads of them came to church. So, oh, Pastor Jim, please help us. Just used the name of Jesus. Spoke to her brain. And they went back up to the hospital where the doctors were wanting to unplug her. Totally brain dead. And when they got there, there was brain waves. And her brain healed all day long and got better and better and better. And in less than two days, that woman got up, got dressed and went home and is still raising her children today. Glory to God. I'm telling you what, people, that's the power in the name of Jesus. The power in the name of Jesus will break any generational curse of heart disease or cancer or blood pressure or diabetes or depression or thoughts of suicide or, or even poverty or anything in your life. There is nothing I can't do and nothing I can't overcome in the life of anybody because of the power in the name of Jesus. There's enough power in that name. I mean, I have spoken over a crowd of 2,000 people at one time. People healed everywhere in the building because of the power in that name. Doesn't matter to me if I'm standing in front of one person or I'm standing in front of 1,000 people. Get them all healed at the same time because there's so much power in that name. Hey, I'll prove it to you. I'm not afraid to say I'll prove it to you. Put, get, get a crowd of a thousand people in your church. Give me a call. Bring the sick ones in there. Bring the blind ones in there. Bring them in with cancer. Go to the hospital and bring the, bring the sick people with cancer. Bring them in. We'll get them healed. Jesus healed all who were oppressed of the devil. And so do I, because I got that name. I got that name. I'm not the least bit shy about telling you that there is nobody we can't get healed. All you got to do is make the call. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Call me. A couple months ago, we had a woman, stage four breast cancer, full of cancer, totally healed right over the phone. Glory to God. People raised off their deathbeds. People, and we've had literally people gasping for breath in the last stages of dying totally healed and raised up. People paralyzed. We've had two people totally paralyzed on their left side from a stroke. Both of them totally healed. Power in the name of Jesus will break every generational curse of sickness and disease and heal everybody who is sick. Go to increasenow.com. Get a hold of me. I'm telling you people, we can get you healed through the power in the name of Jesus. The healing revival that went on and the in the 40s and the 50s, I'm telling you, is back. It's back. I do the same thing that they did, and I get people healed just like they did. Glory to God. Huh? Hey, go out there and make it a great day today. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Let's get you healed. Don't die of sickness and disease. There's no need to. Remember this. God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills. <laughs>